on behalf of the uh, Department of Musicology at the University of Mainz. I'm very, very happy to welcome you all to this uh, wonderful conference. Um, I think it's it's a very, very special uh, event that <laughs> that Albert um, and yeah, the team around Albert um, was able to uh, organize here. I am especially happy about it because I'm I'm also working in a in a digital field and the idea of having a digital musicology is something quite new here uh, in Germany. We've uh, we've only just started to build a um, a network and a community of um, digitality around music. And I mean, all of you, I know you come from Lyon, you come from um, Stanford, I saw, you're all connected, you all have a network, um, and it's it's around Faust and the, uh, yeah, uh, one part of digitality and music that I think it's, it's uh, a great thing that uh, we are able now uh, on a national and on an international level to combine all these little networks that exist for all so many different um, aspects of um, the digital media, the digital world and um, music musicology, music analysis, music and music theory and to combine all these together now. I think it's uh, that we are finally at a stage where other um, other academic disciplines have been working on for the last, I don't know, decades. And I think it's it's wonderful to see that one year after we founded um, a big group, um, we can host a conference like this here in Germany. Um, so far, Albert has been fighting f by himself almost for the past 30, 30 odd years now, I think. And so it's... Uh really bad, no? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> and, um, so um, it, it feels a little weird to, uh, as uh, if I, as a, uh, a representative of more the digital editing uh, branch of dig digital musicology, uh, uh, that I'm talking to you ab uh, about something new when for you it's it's been the living reality of the past. Um, so I saw that the program is uh, very fascinating. I think you you all brought together uh, a um, yeah a fascinating combination of aspects of FAUST and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to um, seeing parts of, uh, of the discussions, to see the papers, to listen to everybody and uh, to find out where, um, yeah, where this um, network is going to stretch out to. And uh, I think it's uh, also great that it's not just uh, papers or posters that are presented, but that you you have uh, incorporated these round tables, which give you all a very different uh, possibility to talk to each other. I think that's the uh, great thing about uh, conferences. In the digital world, I think we are all connected. We uh, have. Uh, <laughs> blogs, we have, uh, of course, um, digital communication um, going on. And so you'd think, yeah, is it really necessary to meet? And I think it is. I think through meeting, through um, listening to each other, but also through talking in a, in a set uh, surrounding, I think you can all bundle up your forces and um, bring um, the the matter that concerns you all a uh, step forward. So I think um, on behalf of the Department of Musicology, I wish you all a great time in Mainz. I think we ordered the right weather for that. Um, I wish you a very, very productive conference, um, good exchange of ideas, um, good uh, good food, of course. I, I'm, I'm sure Albert will have taken care of that. And 
<laughs> no cooking, but uh, yeah, enjoy enjoy a glass of wine maybe. Um, but but m I think the most important thing is that you all get the possibility to connect with each other about a topic that concerns us all. So I wish you a great time. Um, interesting discussions and uh, thank you very much for coming here and uh, being part of this wonderful event. Thank you. Okay, so um, thank you again Stephanie for the nice words and uh, for setting our agenda for the, for the next two days. So I have way too many slides, but I just want to uh, race through some of them uh, to just give you a few directions and shouldn't take too long. And uh, well, let's start out with the program on Tuesday. Uh, we'll, that's today. Uh, we'll start out with a paper session right after this introduction. And then uh, we have the first coffee break, but we have a keynote by the inventor of Faust, uh, Jan Olare. There's still, in the, in the uh, written program, there's still to be announced the title, so Jan will do that later. <laughs> yeah, you, have, you have finished the slides, okay. Um, the invited talk by Julius O. Smith, uh, I don't think he's here. I haven't seen him, so we'll probably have to work around that. I can. Uh, we, we squeezed a little session in here to make room for this invited talk, but unfortunately I don't think he could make it. And so we'll just, this session will be a little longer, but and we'll be a, a bit early for lunch, uh, so I hope that nobody will mind that. Uh, it's always the same. If I invite Julius, he doesn't come. I don't know what that is. So uh, We already had that at luck, but he was ill then, and so... Romain filled in uh, for him, but not this time for the invited talk, because he's very involved with the conference anyway. So, um, so there's a little change of program here. Uh, then after this uh, short session, uh, we have lunch and then the round table. So the round tables is the kind of birds of feather sessions. We we set some topics, but they're pretty much open, and we can talk about what we want. And um, but the first round table, Stefan will be up here to to moderate, and we'll see what what kind of topics we get, and what kind of dis discussions. And uh, afterwards, after the coffee break, we have another round table. The first one is about Faust tools, about architectures and stuff like that. The second one is more about how to program digital signal processing, about the libraries which come with Faust. So that should be pretty interesting. And this will be chaired by Roma. And yeah, and then follows leisure, which means uh, also related to lunch, um, we have uh, reserved tables at the Baron. You, uh, those of you who have been here on the campus before probably know the Baron. Uh, we have reserved tables there, but no food uh, per se, so you still, you're free to order what you want and also pay for it, of course. <laughs> and uh, probably we might, uh, in the evening, we might uh, meet there again, because of course they also have beer and they have cocktails and stuff like that, so, and you can get uh, dinner there as well. Then, Wednesday I'm going to tell you tomorrow about, and the special events we have up is one uh, student workshop um, that's going to be at 2 o'clock, cum tempore or sine tempore. 2 o'clock without the, the academic quarter, so exactly at 2 o'clock. This will start out at the Media Lab, which is in the... Uh, Music Informatics uh, building. I'm, I'm going to show you the locations in a minute. And uh, this is limited to eight participants, so if there are any students here who are still interested to participate in that, we have a list uh, at the info desk where you can sign up. 
then uh, we have at the end of the conference that uh, will be tomorrow will be the, the uh, celebration of the 2018 Faust Award. So as usual, as almost every year, we have a prize for very good contributions to, uh, of Faust developers and researchers. And uh, then we have uh, two sound installations or demonstrations which will take place in the next room on this floor, which is over there in the so-called faculty room. Um, Pierre, Pierre is still setting up the, uh, there and uh, Bjorn as well. So we have two, uh, two things. One is Ambi Tools, which is an ambisonic toolkit for Faust. Um, and this is uh, being set up so, and uh, uh, Pierre will then demonstrate it. And uh, we also have this chair audio, which is a kind of uh, a controller. So we thought it would be ha nice to have some real hardware as well. And I know that there are some among you who are really fond of this, uh, all this crazy controller stuff. So we, this one is a quite nice one as well. I think it was also presented at Luck, Harry. Do you remember? I think, I think I missed that. Uh, that might have been a lightning talk that I missed. But uh, it will be here and it will be presented not by one of the uh, constructors who are, who are at Berlin, but by Björn Kessler, who is also links to Weimar, uh, the, to the uh, university at Weimar, where the students come from, uh, as, as far as I know, who constructed this thing. And he wants to present something in conjunction with Faust. So it's not about Faust per se, but it's, uh, the demonstration will also use Faust. Uh, 